Hey everyone, this is Ray from Razorworks again. Um, first off, I just wanted to uh, put out a, a huge thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Um, it is literally overwhelming uh, the kind of response that I've uh, gotten from everyone. And the remarks, the comments, um, suggestions. Um, I mean, it's just uh, such a cool experience. Uh, so I suppose that if I can make videos and uh, learn how to get them up on uh, on YouTube, then uh, anybody can. So um, that being said, uh, this is my shear plate that you're looking at. That uh, my blade, the sh the blade actually goes in this trough right here. There's a there's a recess area here on the back side of this thing, and. Uh, Anyway, this uh, this thing, this plate probably weighs, oh, I don't know, maybe 70 pounds, if not a little more, uh, just guessing. And uh, so I'm in the process of trying to figure out how in the hell I'm going to hang it so I can paint it. And as you can see by these things right here, um, this is what I came up with. Um, this end right here obviously is threaded into this and the other one on the other side is a mirror image and uh, they go through here I'm utilizing this first hole right here and my first cone nut is right here so um, as you can tell they're not exactly the same and that's because this hole is like a little tad over three-eighths of an inch and on the back side it's been counterboard to a larger diameter like almost a uh, um, half inch so I had to make my different cone nuts here to uh, to fit this uh, this particular situation here so um, I believe somebody said earlier that if uh, if you didn't video it <laughs> it didn't happen so uh, I wonder who might have said that mr. Stan <laughs> so anyway um, as you can see that uh, these are threaded also, okay, and uh, is what has to happen, which I just figured out on my first one over here, is that uh, these guys, you have to uh, get everything started here, hopefully. Come on. There we go. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, right? Okay, so anyway, so now this will thread up onto here as well, and it will hopefully come together here. See, so we're closing the closing the gap. So we'll shine get that up there okay so it's getting fairly close and I don't want to scratch my primer on the bottom side of my plate um, which I think if I make one more revolution on that one I'm going to do just exactly that so we're gonna raise this up and we're gonna hopefully Drop that down there. Give me a little bit more room here. Adjust this down. And because this thing weighs as much as it does, uh, normally you could probably just put a piece of baling wire on the uh, on the piece. And uh, have this thing line up without any any problem. Okay, so now I've got that. So now I run my cone nut down. We want to try to center this thing if we can. 
and because I have such a tight fit right there, I have to uh, get the aid of a pair of pliers here, hopefully. What I want to do is uh, center the pieces in the middle of this uh, of this plate once they're engaged. So just a touch higher. Okay, that's perfect right there. And I can run this top cone nut down and engage him. So now there's no more movement in this thing and uh, that's probably about as good as it's going to get uh, I think I'll do a little bit okay Not a whole lot of room here to work, but when it does come together, it comes together nice. Just like that right there. Okay, and now the only thing left is to put my little my little shackle here on here. And this swallows those plates, drops through the holes. Just like that. And now I have a mechanism to hold this thing, but still allow me to get paint all the way up and around the holes on both sides of this plate. So, um, it was a little bit of a chore to figure this out, um, but I did, and there it is, and uh, there's the video proof. So, uh, again, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know I appreciate your your support. Everybody that's commented on my channel so far has been absolutely terrific. Um, just gives me a little encouragement and a little incentive to uh, to keep shooting these little things. And, uh, you know, they're probably not much to write home to mom about, but they're little tricks that I've learned over the years. And, uh, you know, I've, I've thought up this design. I've fabricated these things. It's just, you know, 3 16 um, by one flat stock. And drill and tap and drill and bend and, you know, just... So I, I envision all these things in my head, and this is what I do. I've, I've always done things that way. If I can see it, I can build it. If I'm holding it in my hand, I can build it. So that being said, um, it's kind of late in the day today, but I've accomplished my goal for today, and so tomorrow I will get out here and try to uh, um, get this thing in its finished state of, of primer and uh, go ahead and, and uh, get this thing painted tomorrow. So... Um, until then, I will uh, bid you guys a farewell, and uh, again, man, thanks uh, for everyone, um, all the boys and girls out there that are watching me and uh, subscribe, so I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, this is Razor taking off. Okay, bye.